Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to share our testimony and our country information. Uh, I'd like to start my uh, testimony from brief introduction to my country. Uh, uh, let's see. There's our uh, map there. You can see there's a Philippines and the north. Our country is located in uh, East North Asia and also bordered by China and Russia. So, and also our country population is just three million, not much. Compared to Philippines, is one million, one hundred million, and three million is so. It's different. So, and uh, uh, majority of people is Buddhist and also non religious as the same as Buddhist but Christians is just 2.6 percent it's not much and um, yeah, go to the next slide uh, next slide the Mongolia is known for nomadic culture and beautiful wild nature. And you can see the nobody climb here. From next side to this side. Yeah. And uh, this is the land. You can express the all open, uh, wide open, uh, wild nature, and also blue sky, forest, desert, and crystal, uh, clean rivers and lake. And we don't have ocean; it's a landlocked uh, place. But we have plenty of uh, uh, nomadic culture, nomadic uh, life, and uh, the Mongolians live uh, the. Uh, and like uh, we have uh, uh, five type of animals that we raise them and uh, looking at them it's like uh, sheep, the horse, cows, camel, and uh, the goat, and we have 60 million livestock in the country. It's, uh, Compared to people, it's three million. And animals is sixty million. It's very big. And next slide, please. And we have four seasons: winter, spring, fall, and summer. And uh, our average uh, temperature is summer is plus twenty-five, but winter is minus thirty. And uh, it's very different. The winter is quite warm and cold, but the uh, summer is hot and short. And next slide, please. Um, you can see the, how we survive the winter. It's, it's difficult, but also fun. And next slide, please. And people name us like horsemen. We like to ride horse and ride my horse and it's kind of our uh, traditional sport. Next slide, please. And our capital is Mamato. Uh, located in the center of Mongolia. And uh, our capital is surrounded by mountains. And uh, you can see the our map. There's uh, five type of different uh, natures. The blue one is mountains, the uh, yellow one is uh, desert. It's the fourth desert in the world, and the biggest desert in the world, and also coldest desert in the world. And pink one is uh, just a um, flat area. Uh, you, you can see, it, yeah, just flat area. And green one is the forest, and central one is the Mixture of everything. You can see everything, the desserts, sand and grass, everything is collected in the middle. Next slide, please. 
And our capital is, uh, looks like that. And the, every, the people has own land and house and fence. And we divide their land, small piece of piece, and we have seen. This picture is a winter picture, and you can see some smoke. So because of winter, we have to make a fire. The making fires make a smoke. And our uh, uh, difficult thing is air pollution. During winters, we have much air pollution. So let's go to the next slide. slide. It's about our Christian story. Uh, Mongolian Christian has started since 1991, so it's quite new. It's just uh, 28 years now. It's three decades, and 2.6 percent of Mongolian speaking Christian and over 600 churches has been established in 28 years. And it means our Christian increasing very fast. In 28 years, 600 churches in all around the Mongolia, and compared to the world growth, it's quite uh, high. So there is a plenty of uh, uh, awesome history. I mean, testimonies during the first decade, like Book of Acts. They just uh, led their life for the gospel, sharing the uh, gospel everywhere. And it was very uh, exciting his histories when we were visiting our leaders there, uh, sharing their testimonies. It's awesome. And but uh, my age is uh, um, you can see my age is same as uh, Christian age. Same. I'm 28 years old, and our Christian is 20 years old. So when I was born. Just Christian started. So we are the third generation of more, uh, Christians. And yeah, that is. So let's go for next slide. It's about our church. Our church name is Transformation Mongolia. We had 12 branches, church uh, located in all around the Mongolia. This picture is from main church. We are, we are from our main church. It's like same as this church, same. And uh, everything is same, like family and worship. Everything is same. That's why I love this church. I love you guys. <laughs> and, um, yeah, let's go. Uh, next slide is about our ministry. We have women's ministry. And next slide, we have men's ministry. It's a mess camp. <laughs> Challenging and they were washing their body with snow. It's one, one kind of challenging. The next slide is youth ministry. Also, we have the next slide. Poya Poya was a leader, of, used to leader of youth ministry. He's here and he has uh, one son and wife. Okay, next slide. And we have sport ministry, ministry especially in the soccer. We have soccer club. Next slide. We have a uh, uh, Christian scout. It's like camping and it, it is very nice. And I used to be leader of that uh, ministry. And uh, you can see my wife and son. It's already two years from now. Okay, next slide, please. So this is uh, three families picture that. Uh, lives in the I guess in the Philippines. So you can see Polish family and my family is in the middle there's a two couple and has three daughters. So they are attending another church. And we will be here for two years from now. So I mentioned earlier our church, uh, our country has so many churches, but uh, we have so many experiences in the field, how to uh, uh, 
it's, you know, sharing the gospel in the field. But one, we realized that one thing is missing. It was uh, uh, theology and knowledge about the Bible. Because we started so much exciting, we sharing the gospel, and we ministered everywhere. And now we are here is uh, learning theology about the Bible, and the deep, of, uh, deep knowledge about the Bible, so that uh, we can uh, uh, help our country and uh, biblical theology. Yeah, that is. So our um, today I'm here just give short information about our church, our country, and maybe next time he will uh, share his testimony because his testimony is awesome. How he received Christ, how God really uh, touched his heart, and also uh, good testimony he has. So thank you for listening. My testimony, and God bless you.